I'm finally getting to show you the exterior of the beautiful car that I'm driving today. So this is the big black exterior, GB60 two-wheel drive version. And you see, you can't really tell that much of a difference from the exterior alone, especially, especially the front. We see more of that EV explicit wheel type of thing on two-wheel drive and of course smaller brakes just the good old steel caliper one piston i love this dlo this is a daylight opening that genesis has first implemented on gv60 and today's episode is sponsored by Cherong. they make car diffusers fragrance that you can use inside your car and they come in a variety of shapes like this you get a little clip that you can attach on the back and you just stick this right into the air vent but this is what i like the most about Cherong. so these are actually korean letters or alphabets or consonants to be specific this is actually what stands for Genesis, Genesis in Korean. So I specifically asked them to give me these consonants. And how cool is that? So on these plasters, you will drop the essence and they provide a variety of essence that you can drop on these. And then let it sink and soak for some time. Fill up your car with that beautiful scent. Working as, hence, car diffuser. Or with this beautiful flower as well. So huge props and big thanks to Terong for sponsoring today's video. I'll drop in the link below. Feel free to go check them out on their websites and also for the purchase. Without further ado, let's get in and test drive this GV70 two-wheel drive. And for the record, if you're looking for all-wheel drive, I've driven that already. So go check it out on this car right here. I just can't wait to check this car out today. By the way, that's the key fob for GV60. Isn't it gorgeous? You get two colors, one of each from this matte black, as well as a white key fob that I have shown on previous test drives. Just like that. My GoPro is actually blocking the view. So I'm showing you. Can you get it from the passenger seat? Yes, you can. You just saw it. <laughs> and by the way, this is my second test drive with the GV60. So feel free to go check out my earlier review. And that one is actually all-wheel drive model that I have test driven. So a lot of comparison that I'll be making today here would be this versus all-wheel drive. iPedal is in other brands called one pedal driving and you can simply drive this car by letting off the accelerator the car will slow down and also even come to a complete stop if you take it off at the right time and you'll get used to this in no time once you start driving this you'll get the feel of it so iPedal has the most um, strongest regenerative brake regen brake and then just like this I'm stopping the car by taking my foot off the accelerator and here we're going to need some power merging into these lanes and full acceleration so feel free to check out I mean, I really hope that you will check out my first video, first review on the all-wheel drive. I had trouble, difficult times, you know, keeping up with the power of the car. But that's not the case with the some rear-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. And that's simply because it's not as powerful. But does that mean, is, is it weak? No, not at all. This car will pick up the speed, any of the speed that you would just desire in your city drives and daily drives. So, all-wheel drive model was just ridiculously fast. But that doesn't mean that this GV62 wheel drive doesn't have power, no. It just feels like a typical internal combustion car with around 300 horsepower, a little less than that. So this is my second time test driving this GV60. I've gotten used to this digital side mirror in no time. It was the same case on Ionic 5. Even when I first saw it for the first time, it didn't take me that long. I think it just took me about five turns for me to get used to this. However, there might be, you know, personal preferences and differences when it comes to getting used to this. This is the teal with this tan color combination. And my personal favorite has been this teal with white that I have shown 
on the motor show that I just recently uploaded as well. Let's hear the honk. Uh, just, uh, you know, the typical one that we know of. Just uh, portraying all of a typical, you know, runs, drives that we would be doing with this GV60. Despite its long wheelbase, 2900 millimeters, given the size of the car, that is ridiculously long for the wheelbase. However, I don't really feel that rear catching up super slow because I did feel quite a lot of that on Ionic 5 which has 3000 millimeters so there is a hundred millimeter which is 10 centimeters difference between the two so it might not be a fair game but there was a dramatic difference that I have felt from the Ionic 5 that I don't really feel from GV60 and this crystal sphere at work and just uh, you know follow along the guidelines right here and then you have no problem and also you see this 360 degrees monitor and there you go just like you can see from here i have parked the car perfectly in lines and you can see that from the digital side mirrors as well turn it on the crystal sphere will turn around letting you know that the car is turned on you just simply twist it around to put it in the drive mode and did you see that it will actually close the flush door handles it will close when you embark on your journey i've mentioned this earlier on the previous gv60 i can actually see that spoiler running through in my rear view mirror that's from about one third from the bottom up and that portion is covered up, I would say about 10 to 20% of the mirror here. It doesn't really bother me all that much. I used to drive a car with a spoiler that blocked my like 50% of the view. Probably I'm used to this already. But again, that is something that you'll get used to pretty quick. So you'll get used to that in, you know, relatively quickly. It doesn't really take that long for you to get used to that. Definitely, there is no boost button here, unlike the all-wheel drive performance that I have driven. That pumps out nearly about 480 horsepower with the boost button. But you see here, when we need to pick up some pop speed, just like that. Just look at this. This car can definitely easily pick up with most of the internal combustion cars out on the streets heated seats heated steering wheel ventilated seats auto hold parking view cam you can see that around and there is also driver only air vent system we cannot forget about the hda of course using this button right here you can set the driving distance and leg keeping assist the steering wheel assist and you see right here these lights will light up in green once it recognizes and it's telling you ready to go the light has turned green the steering wheel lane keeping assist so a major difference here is that all the buttons that was here hda buttons were actually on the right and now all that has moved on to the left column and whereas the volume the media infographic system buttons used to be on the left now has moved on to the right don't know why but that's what it is i also had a subscriber asking me what the height is like for the armrest it probably looked like it's some um, sitting too low but not so much it's just a typical armrest position you know that i'm used to and i'm pretty sure you can adjust it all right using you know the right sitting position sitting height just look at that diffuser by the way just looking great with the genesis don't you think and unlike it was on the performance model you don't necessarily get a different set of display for different drive modes no you don't 12.4 display and you get two of them it put in a gentle curve display like that it's slanted a little bit it's facing a little bit towards you here is a typical congested area and bad conditioned road it's currently under construction as you can see and this is just so gentle the shock absorber is doing the work 
it's canceling out a lot of dirty rebound I would say yet also is providing the right feedback to the driver via steering wheel via up and down movement from the suspensions and all I would definitely say that this is a very very comfortable car to drive around and just look at that HDA will just you know slow down the car stop the car and restart the car on its own and it has the wireless charging pad right here just moderate cup holders and this dial that you can control play around for your infotainment system very direct intuitive and you'll get used to this in no time and there is also ergo motion seat embedded relaxes your body from long distance drives don't forget about this drawer type we've seen that on ionic 5 earlier let me actually just go through everything that i would like to point out man, comparing the differences with this two-wheel drive to that of the all-wheel drive first of all when you start off from a complete stop and when you tap on the accelerator or you just you know start driving i can definitely feel a huge jump and difference between the torque all-wheel drive had so much power excessive power even i could feel that all that from a tap of the accelerator whereas this two-wheel drive is just a moderate moderate and it's just, just so feel comfortable so all-wheel drive model might have had too much power I mean there is no such thing as too much power for me i personally love driving cars like even better when it's you know powerful but if you're considering gv60 just as a city driver a commuter car all-wheel drive might be a bit of an overkill because you know after all that car is nearly 500 horsepowers or 480 horsepowers with the boost button that is a very very powerful car by the way however when you just gently tap the accelerator to get this gv60 two-wheel drive going it just feels like a very comfortable city driver so when you start this car it's not going to throw you right into the seat like it did on the all-wheel drive but just to give you a little gentle push to a point where you don't feel the shortage of the power no you still are probably one of the fastest cars on the streets that you see you know even now as we speak i'm faster than all the cars that's currently going in front of me gv60 is also built from the egmp platform electric global modular platform built by hyundai it has all the characteristics and the benefits of the suv high line of sight spacious inside you wouldn't believe how spacious it is on the second row seat i've covered that on my first exterior and interior review so go check that out video for details and furthermore and here i actually want to test out the performance all right it's not going to be precise super precise but let's check it from that gopro cam let's do 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers let's go Ninety now was 100 kilometers as you just saw from the clip it doesn't send the car it did not push me right into the seat like it did on the all-wheel drive and again just the boost mode you, you, you guys hear that it will spins so this car is fully capable of just pretty much anything and i've been driving for over an hour now it is just so comfortable that i can never get enough of this ergo motion seat ah oh. I want an EV right now. It lets you know that there is a car on your blind spot like it just did. If we make the ch lane change right now, we might be really, really close to the blue sportage right here. So if the car is within that red line, that means no, you don't want to make a lane change. But in between is okay. After the orange, it's quite dangerous. So you see now, an orange i have now plenty of space to make a lane change like it did so that's how you know and same goes for the left and right here is the blind spot monitor on top of the digital side mirror that you get here so what you don't see here i get to see right here